guys, I thought I'd do a video on pumping and, um, I guess breastfeeding and favorites, um, that I like. I exclusively breastfed both my twins for the first three months because they were preemies. Um, so just automatically we started with bottles. They were too little to use their energy in trying to latch and breastfeed. And then they got used to the bottle and so, um, the first three months was exclusively breastfeeding until I got my son to latch and nurse starting at three months and now my daughter at five months and they're going to be six months in about a week. So, yay, I'm super happy about that because my ultimate goal was to get them both nursing. That's what I wanted when I was pregnant. I never wanted to um, feed formula. Unfortunately, I have had to supplement on occasion, um, just a personal choice. And um, I did plan on pumping, just not as much. I planned on pumping maybe once a day so that my husband could be a part of of bottle feeding and um, that bond with them that I get to share. So, um, but you know, you have to go with the flow. You can't plan anything, that's for sure. So you just have to go with it. So with pumping exclusively for three months, um, I did invest in the Medela Advanced Pumping Style. Let's see, it's right behind me there if you can see it. Um, double breast pump, definitely the way to go, especially if you are um, exclusively pumping. Um, I couldn't imagine just doing one breast at a time. So I love it. It is hospital grade quality because when I was in the hospital, I did use their Medela hospital grade pump. So I wasn't sure if mine would be as good, but it is as good um, and portable and easy to use. And um, I got plenty of milk um, while I was pumping and even now while I pump because I still pump. Oh, like once every two or three days. I need to get back to pumping once a day and just so that I can get a stash. But um, with the Medela pump, it's very easy to use. You just have your parts that you put together like this. Boop. That. And then the bottles that then screw on like this and you can buy when I was exclusively pumping I did invest in the eight ounce bottles because what I was having to do is swap out these mid pumping um, and for those of you who pump and know it's just a pain to do that and stop and go um, but now that I'm, I'm not pumping as much I'm just using these ones again um, and then right here where the hole is right here that's where the little tube just goes right in and then turn on and go for it super easy um, you can also use like the hands-free bra with this. I bought one at the hospital because they kind of talked me into it and I was like, oh, that sounds cool. Have my hands free, but um, I never used it. It was more of a pain to put it on and go for it. I'm not going to walk around the house pumping, you know, I don't know, just kind of silly. So it wasn't my thing. So it was a waste of $40. Um, it's not a big deal to sit there for 15 or 20 minutes and hold them and pump. Um, also, one of my favorites for... Um, the Medela are they make these little caps that you can pop out like that and I don't know if you can see it but it has the different days Friday oops, Thursday Wednesday and then here it says a.m. and p.m. and then the middle obviously is afternoon and so you just say whatever day it is and then pop it and then there you go um, I didn't use these as much because when I was exclusively pumping, um, I was flying through the milk, so there was no doubt about it. Like, the milk I pumped for the day, they were eating. I didn't really have, like, a, a lapse or leftover, um, so I used the other just screw-on quick ones. Um, but now that I'm pumping, like, once every three days, it's nice to know because I can't remember when I pumped the milk and um, I've thrown quite a bit of breast milk away just because I um, wasn't sure and I'd rather be safe than sorry. So um, I'm getting better at using these since I have them and I do love them. It takes two seconds to do it. It's not a big deal. Um, and like I said, then I and my husband knows, you know, which milk to use first so that I don't waste any more milk. Um, because I'm enjoying not pumping regularly. Um, let's see. Another favorite for the breast milk are these Lanthanol, um, breast milk bags. 
and I used these at the beginning because I had a lot of milk coming in and then they weren't eating as much and then I haven't used them until now at almost six months I'm using them again to build up my stash but um, super easy it tells you how much on the top you can record the time the date how much and then they just are Ziploc bags close shut and then I lay my breast milk in the freezer like this flat so that it's flat and just easy it's all kind of one thickness so that thawing is fast um, and you can thaw them right in this bag you just run it um, hot water over them or you can just pull it out if you know ahead of time and just let it thaw that way in the fridge uh, super easy to use very convenient and then you just toss afterwards let's see um so I, at the beginning, was using the disposable breast pads, and I, I guess I just didn't realize how many breast pads that you actually go through. You switch using, well, after you're done with your postpartum bleeding, you switch from using pads um, down there, for down there, um, to breast pads all the time. So um, I had probably went through three or four boxes of dispo disposables and then realized, what am I doing? I need to get the reusables. I do laundry all the time anyway. Um, they probably feel better, um, softer, and um, and probably absorb better as well. So I went ahead and I tried three different kinds or just purchased three different kinds because originally I went with, I was at the store at Target and they had the Nook um, reusable ones and those are a joke, don't waste your money even for three bucks. They're, um, I don't have them here, I think I threw them away, but they're not very absorbent, they are not comfortable, the material that they use is very cheap and not soft, uh, and they're really small, so they shift around really easily. Um, so what's the point of even having them on? Uh, then I ordered these ones, which are my favorite. They are from, when I ordered my Utter Cover, it gave the option of, hey, let, like, try out a, um, a th three pack, I think it was. And so it was only like a couple bucks more, so I went ahead and did that. And these are my favorite. I love them super soft. The size of them is perfect. Um, on Amazon, I added, because I saw a six pack was pretty reasonable. And these are organic cotton. Um, but they're, if you notice, they're just a tiny bit smaller. They're super soft. I love them. But they're just a tiny bit smaller. And I don't know what it is, but this is like the perfect size. Um, but love them. Use them regularly. And I'm glad I made the investment because uh, you go through a ton of them. <laughs> you, no one tells you at the beginning that you are just like a milk factory. And between feeding or pumping or both and... Um, you leak. Like, I had so many leak-throughs um, with the disposables as well as just at night. I didn't want to have the disposable one on. Um, so once I got these ones, I could wear a tank, pop those in, nice and soft, cozy, um, and I didn't have any leak-throughs. But at the beginning, I had a ton. So um, the other things I like thing I like is this one nursing cover that I just recently purchased. I have the Utter Cover one that, like I said, I purchased with the breast pads. And it was the, like, you put in the coupon code where you get the cover for free and then you only pay the shipping, which is a really good deal. However, I don't like the material on the top of that one. It's really, um... It's really thick and, like, plastic. And so it's the whole point of it is so that it sticks out like this, but I feel like it sticks out so much that like I end up having to go like this as I'm if I'm in public to like kind of keep it down because if someone was behind me or taller than me like in the distance, they could see right down. So I wasn't comfortable with that. So that now I don't really use very much. This one I ended up getting on clearance. I wasn't a fan of the pattern. That wasn't the point of it. It's just the purpose. But this is an Eddie Bauer one, and it was like on clearance for $1.76, but it's much softer material up here. So when I put it on, it actually just lays pretty flat. And then, you know, if I wanted to, it would stay up enough for me to go like this and peek in at baby. But the other one really, like, pokes out like this. And I can see my baby. I can peek down. I don't need to have the whole world see it. So, um, because when I'm out in public, I nurse in my ergo pack. So I have them on ergo, put the cover over, and then I can just snap down um, my tank and bra. And it's real easy. 
so I love this one and it's really soft and it's washed really well um, it has little pocket right here if you need to just stick something in I'm not sure why but on both sides but um, and folds really really small so when I put it in my diaper bag it just fits in like the little side pocket to pull out or it fits in the Argo pocket on the front of the pack but if you see look I can just roll it into this small little thing so nice um, Next, this is a newer purchase that I've gotten, but I never invested in a nursing tank and or er, tanks, and that's partly because I wasn't nursing. I was pumping. Um, so now that I am nursing both of them and nursing them and nursing them in public, um, I went ahead and decided that I should probably get a nursing tank to make life a little bit easier. So these are my favorites right here. They are by. Gilligan and O'Malley stretch nursing tank from Target and they're super comfortable and this one some have buttons some are just plain um, but they have you know quite a variety of them and you just snap down like that real easy and then I, I wear my bra under it as well and then it also has the inner bra as well. So, but I need to have a bra and a tank, but for those who only need a tank, it does give support for the smaller chested. <laughs> but love them, soft, wash great, um, snaps work well. Some other favorites here we have, so I have different creams. I've, between pumping and nursing and trying to, um, I guess, getting like a three month old and a five month nursing and then with teeth and stuff I've had a lot of problems mostly with pumping pumping is really tough on the poor boobs and nipples and so um, I started out as everyone wants to with the natural nipple butter or there's um, this is natural nipple butter by Earth Mama and then there's another one that they gave me in the hospital I forgot um, and I, I tried using those, they're the lanolin free ones, um, and while they are nice, they don't do the trick if you have bleeding, cracked um, nipples. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't help out. So I was using this, and I've probably gone through about three or four tubes of this. This uh, was a lifesaver, the Lansano lanolin nipple cream. Love it, works great. Um, pretty much takes care of most things again if you are pumping you know that it is very tough so I actually got to the point um, where it was like horrible it was very painful to pump it was like someone had just sliced um, it was I was getting blood in the milk and having to throw it away so I um, asked my doctor if there was even anything out there other than what I was using to help and I'm so glad I did because I suffered for two weeks it was like I cringed every time I knew I had a pump it was very very painful um, and they gave me this compound cream um, it's three different creams and I don't have the information sheet anymore I tried looking for it and I cannot remember but one of them is like a numbing cream and then two other creams in there and oh my gosh, a lifesaver with how bad of shape I was in. Within two days, it was completely gone. Um, no more pain with pumping. Um, it says that you just put it on after nursing or pumping. And then I never had to wipe it off. It's really like just a thin cream. And um, by the time it was time to pump or nurse, it wasn't on there anymore because you have your, your breast pad and your your bra or tank or whatever you're wearing. Um, but if you, I didn't realize, these are things like one of the things that I wish I knew. I wish I would have said something earlier. I wish that I knew something like this was available because instead I tried a ton of different creams and suffered to the point of like almost crying because it was so painful. Um, so now I rarely have to use this. Um, I've had to use it a couple times just because I have two teething babies now. Um, well, my daughter has the two teeth on the bottom and then my son has one of them, the left one coming in, and so they tend to like grind their teeth. So I've had to use that a couple times, not much. Um, so in the meantime, I use the natural, which I like. Um, especially, I've had like 
with dryness, um, this takes care of it, or redness, or just slight irritation, and then it's completely safe for baby, you don't have to worry about it, so that's nice, um, I can put it on even, like, right before they're gonna latch, just to help out if it, if it's a little painful, um, and then this as well. This I haven't used as much, um, this does, because of the linolin in it, does leave grease stains. I remember when I was using it all the time um, in the first few months that if you didn't wear a pad or just had a tank topper uh, shirt on, it ruins it. The oil gets in the shirt and it never comes out or I haven't gotten it out. So just know that. Whereas this doesn't ruin anything and this doesn't ruin anything. So, uh, the newest purchase that I've gotten is this. A nursing slash teething necklace. I usually wear necklaces. I just took them off because they're getting really strong and they're, they pull on them all the time and um, they mean a lot to me so I didn't want them to break off as well as them just get like one of them has my baby ring on it and small parts that I just didn't want anything to happen. Um, and so I did some research on, there's a few different nursing ne necklaces out there that you can get, but this one I figured because they're teething and they're chewing on everything, it was a great double. But the point of this, um, is, and let me show you, it just really easy, pops open like that, and then snaps on. But the point of this, um, is to, they're getting really distracted, they're at the age that they're constantly, like, popping off and looking around, or they're, <laughs> one of the things that they do is they pinch or grab like this a lot, um, and it actually hurts because they're pinching, um, so it was to double as, like, an attention for them to focus on nursing and they can sit and play with this as well as to stop pinching me. And then while I have them in the carrier or I'm holding them and they're not nursing, then they can just take this and chew on it. I don't have to worry about a toy falling off or a binky falling down or anything like that. Um, and they love it. And even when I'm not uh, wearing it, I'll just hand it to them to play with and they love it just chewing on it. And I found out about this one because I had received a Citrus Lane box that had had the bracelets, the chew beads bracelets in them. And I love these, again, for teething babies. It's just awesome. You can have them on your wrist. You can pop, pop them off and hand them to them. Um, but again, it's, if you, you know, have teething babies or they're at the age of sticking everything in their mouth, then wonderful. Um, so I'm really happy. This was about $30. I got it at, um, my local, like, maternity baby store, but they do have them on Amazon. It was the same price, Amazon or, or in-store, and I wanted it kind of soon. I didn't want to wait for it, so I went ahead and just bought it at the store. Um, and... Yeah, I guess that's gonna, that's everything that I have to share. Those are the favorites that um, I really like. They've been useful for me. Oh, uh, nursing pillow. I forgot about this. So I invested in two regular boppies. And then I invested in the twin double breast friend nursing pillow because I thought, okay, I'm going to have twins. I'm going to tandem feed. Oh, it would be so easy. Well, um... And they had really good reviews. I even watched a YouTube video regarding um, someone using the breast friend nursing pillow. Sorry, I'm looking for a picture here. So this is the my breast friend double nursing pillow. You can't see how big it truly is, but it's huge. It's not soft and squishy like the boppies. It's really firm and stiff. Um, it's really quite ridiculous to use. I've tried using it twice. I can now tandem feed um, the twins, but, uh, again, on that, very uncomfortable, very awkward, again, it's stiff, so they don't, they, like, sit on it, they don't sink into it and sink into you, so most of the time when I'm nursing, um, I do one baby, and, like I said, when I'm on the go, I'll do it in my ergo pack, or if I'm at home, then I just use my lap, I don't really find I use this very often, I'm not sure why with all the pillows I have, but, um, yeah, I just, it never became habit for me. That, But I did find recently, since I have been trying to have them tandem nurse, that I do like this for tandem nursing. It's small enough and squishy enough, that, but gives you support for them because, obviously, doing um, two babies, you have to do football hold versus um, being able to do the side. So it does allow for, sorry, you can't really see, it does allow for both of them to go on here, and then I can kind of cup them on the side like this, or like hold their head, and they just can kind of look at me. Um, but 
if you are having twins, you don't need the twin nursing pillow. Really, you're not going to use it. It's it's a lot of money for what it is, and it's so bulky. It, it really is. Um, I wish I hadn't purchased it, but it is what it is. When you're pregnant, um, you kind of go off for reviews and um, what other people say and what you think will work. So this is what works for me um, for pumping and for um, nursing my babies. I uh, hope it helps. If you have any comments, leave them below. Um, and if you liked it, hit like and subscribe if you want to see more.